Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to grab images off the internet from, say, your suppliers and prep them ready to put onto your website. So um, here we've got a product that we've got permission from the um, supplier to be able to use their images, um, but instead of having to wait for them to email us through the high-res images or even the pre-prepped web-ready images, we're just going to go ahead and grab them ourselves. So we found um, the product that we stock and we want to open that product up. Don't ever use the thumbnail image. Now, what you can do a lot of the time is right click on the image and just go save image as. Okay, and then we can save it into a folder. Um, but sometimes, just go back to, sorry, that main image there. Uh, sometimes, when we right click, it doesn't actually allow us to right click. It says zoom in instead. So if I click zoom in and I still can't right click and save image, so see here it, it doesn't allow me any kind of save image as. So the way to get around that, that one, is to do a screen grab. Um, so you, on your keyboard, it's usually up on the end button over somewhere up on the right hand side. So on my um, keyboard, I have to press the function key and then the end button, which has print screen underneath. So function, print screen. Now you won't see anything on your screen change. It just uh, copies that whole screen to your clipboard. So now we need to open a photo editing program so we can do a bit of cropping and resizing. So I'm going to use Photoshop and I'm going to say file, new, just to create a new blank document. And then I'm going to click paste, which is control V if you want to do the shortcut. Okay, so now we need to crop the image. Now for e-commerce websites, I always say, look, crop it square. Crop everything square so that everything is always in the same pers perspective always in the same ratio and everything looks clean and simple. Um, so over here I've got the crop tool and if I hold down shift whilst I click and drag it will give me a perfect square instead of a rectangle. Okay so I can drag that out and I go oh it's not quite in the middle that's okay. If I let go I can then bring that down. Now I might think oh I haven't allowed enough crop but I can just hold shift and drag that out a little bit more. Okay, we'll try and center that. And you can also use your up and down arrows to ooh, 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 no. up and down arrows to nudge if you'd like. And then when you're ready to set that as a crop, double click or press enter. Okay, now down here I've got a little bit of um, grey bar still there, so I need to just delete that or fill it with white. So I might go edit fill with white. Okay, and then I can um, deselect that. Control D. Um, okay, so that is ready to save for web. Now the ultimate um, size that you want to be looking for is in pixels, not centimeters. So when we're saving images for the web, we're talking about pixels and um, it's per square inch. So it just means like one little teeny tiny dot. Um, so in Photoshop, I can actually go save for the web. Um, and it tells me that the image size right now is 587. So that's okay. I can get away with about 300 by 300 pixels, but you know, that's a little bit small. So as long as it's somewhere in between 300 by 300 pixels and 600 by 600 pixels, you should be okay. Don't ever bring it up to 600 pixels because you'll just be um, making the quality a little bit less. So just leave it where it is if it's under 600. If it's over 600, just type in here 600 and bring it down. Okay, so let's go save and we will find our folder. And now we're going to save it. Now, before you upload any, any images into your website, it is really important to name it with really good keywords. 
Um, so say for example, this brand is something that people regularly look for. Um, and so by you putting the brand name and the style and the color into the image name, it's going to help people find that you sell that product. Now what I would also suggest with this particular product um, is that we also add some other keywords. Um, and I know that one of the popular search terms for this type of jewelry um, uh, is silicon teething jewelry. Um, and you could also put jewelry, which is the uh, American spelling. Now see how this hasn't got any little dashes in there? That doesn't matter because um, it used to be that you needed to have dashes and no spaces when you're uploading images to the internet, but now it doesn't need to. Um, but since we're using the Photoshop Save for Web, it's going to put them in for me automatically. So I'll just click Save. Okay, so that is how you grab an image off the internet when it doesn't give you the Save As um, function. Now. Because that one did actually give us our save Agus function, um, what I've got over here is what I saved as. So as you can see, this is a rectangle and it's not a very close crop. So if I was to upload that next to this image, that image of the um, necklace would actually look really small in comparison to this one. So make sure if it's not cropped this, to the same kind of crop level and not cropped to a square like all your other ones, Make sure you go and do that as well. So we grab our crop tool, grab in the corner, hold down shift and then click and drag. And then we can change that crop a little. Okay, double click or enter. And then we go the save as for web and do that again. Okay, and making sure you rename that file. All right, so that is how you prep your images for an e-commerce website. Um, obviously, you know, there's different things you can do if you think it's a little bit light, you can go to the levels and adjust our mid-tones, you can see that's our mid-tones, this is our blacks, and this is our whites, okay, um, so I actually do think that image was a little bit um, light for my likings, <laughs> so I would probably do that and then save as. Okay, and that's how to prep your images for an e-commerce website.